Why do people hate CEOs for being rich but not celebrities? Because celebrities generally have tens or hundreds of millions, but Zuck has 115 billion. The scale is just so much bigger. Mahomes is a bad example cause he only has 30 meters. But if Zuck lost Ashton Kutcher's total net worth, 200m, it wouldn't even really dent his net worth cause it's such a small fraction, 0.17%. And Zuck is the fifth richest person in the world. There are four more with even more money than him. Some of the super rich celebrities do have a more significant amount, such as Jay-Z, Kanye, Beyonce, and maybe they should be under more critique. But the majority of celebrities really don't have that much money when compared to the billionaires, which is crazy considering how much more celebrities have than regular people, but just goes to show how billionaires have an absolutely insane amount of money. Ashton Kutcher is doing good. He's using his platform to raise awareness and help victims of sex trafficking. Could never ever hate him. Yep. And Patrick Mahomes has a charitable foundation that helps youth in KC and Texas. It both are doing good work in the communities. Celebrities get their wealth from entertaining people. The CEO of Cigna got rich by denying coverage for people who then died. There's the difference. CEOs and corporate bosses in general control the income of millions of citizens. Possible healthcare, etc. Celebrities just make money. Bezos and bosses are the reasons Amazon workers have failed to unionize not Matt Damon. Another way to put it, a CEO's boss's greed can directly affect someone's healthcare because of their decisions. The athlete is not the one who is paying the guy working the ticket booth. Obviously it not a cut dry and can get way more grey. I don't think this is universal but I suspect that because people see celebs act and interview they have a false sense of relation to them. Whereas a CEO is almost a nameless rich butthole to most people. A lot of people hate Musk but a lot of people love him. He's basically a celeb. He does a lot of interviews and I see a lot who defend him. This is not well researched only an observation. I think you're largely correct. Additionally, celebrity wealth impacts folks less than corporate CEO wealth since you actually have to deal with corporations. I think it's really easy to hate someone you don't know. A nameless faceless seer that doesn't spend any time in the public eye has no fans, no PR team, no image consultant, but they make money and are the 1%, so why not hate them, lol. I think that celebrities are significantly more toxic in general than any CEO because they do live in the public eye, and they skew the perception of young people on a daily basis. That's just my opinion, and not saying all celebrities or all CEOs. I'm sure there are great terrible people in both groups. For example, Ashton Kutcher is actually a great human and puts a lot of money into trying to stop terrible crimes and sex trafficking. IDK about you but I often see people calling out celebrities for being rich. Like oh no he's feeling depressed. Guess he'll dry his eyes in $100 bills or he shouldn't complain. I would switch my job with his any day etc. Or like charity wise if someone only donates a certain amount. Because CEOs have more direct control over people's livelihood. A seer could move his business overseas for more profit and people would lose their livelihoods. It's easier to vilify someone whose decision affects people directly. Because celebrities are glorified employees who have a lot of social power but very little decision making power outside of the roles they take or the brands they choose to represent. CEOs have a lot more power in the things like how much our medicines cost. They can easily buy politicians and affect our elections. They can lobby for or against things like unions and fair wages. Did you know Jeff Bozos filed coid relief for his children and collected an extra $3k per kid on his taxes? The richest man in the world just had to file for that extra $6k from the government. The same laws that were set up to protect and represent the common man have been twisted to also protect these mega companies and corporations and their CEOs. People hate them because raw greed and ego at their core are the very things that are bringing down America from being what the founding fathers envisioned it to be, and destroying something very rare and beautiful. They use their money and power to break and bend the rules and separate themselves from any kind of negative repercussions of their greed and total disregard of anyone else. 
Sociopaths make amazing CEOs for their ability to not let things like morals or personal feelings affect their ability to make hard decisions crank out more profits for their shareholders. Bobby Kotick fired an entire staff of a gaming studio almost 700 jobs during one of the most profitable years at Blizzard. They made more money versus last year and fired 700 people right before giving himself a huge bonus. He makes almost 150 million a year and is one of the highest paid CEOs in America. His contact info was also in Jeffrey Epstein's little black book. We all know when the crap hits the fan and America goes belly up these freaking bankers and CS will just fly their families out to a new place and separate themselves from the chaos their greed and lust for more and more profit caused and use their media friends to place the blame elsewhere. These rich fricks think the fruits of this world are for them and them alone and everyone else who is not rich like them are cattle and pigs to be used, abused and discarded. I'd guess because most celebrities don't have anywhere near as much money as someone like Gates, Bezos, Zuckerberg, or Elon have, and celebrities seem to rarely be creating toxic work environments and cultures, although some have like Ellen. A lot of celebrities also work for their money and weren't always rich whereas someone like Elon came from a very wealthy family to begin with. I know there are exceptions to these things but I think the general public doesn't necessarily hate the extremely rich people but they know there is a lot to criticize them for. It's celebrities job to be likable to us. So they are good at charming us. It's how they get and stay rich. That's why we can cancel celebrities but no matter how much we hate Mark Zuckerberg or Jeff Bezos, we don't really have the power to cancel them. Or else they would have been cancelled ages ago. Also, most celebrities, while very wealthy, are centimillionaires at most. Whereas most CEOs of big corporations are more likely to be billionaires and they also tend to be more involved in shaping politics to serve their business interests which is where a lot of shady acting happens. I admit I'm immediately suspicious of anyone that is in the top 1%. At what point is it enough? If one has accrued enough wealth to have anything they could possibly want in a hundred lifetimes, why wouldn't one use the rest to make the world a better place? To me, the most appealing thing about being super rich is to be an anonymous do-gooder. To be able to just go around and alleviate the suffering of other poor folk seems like the most rewarding act a person could do. Paying off some family's mortgage or buying a vehicle for the poor bastard that walks miles to and from work I imagine would feel amazing. When I daydream about a windfall of money coming my way, I don't think about having a vacation home on every continent. I think my family could rest easy knowing they don't have to worry about the future. Then I think about a hundred tiny acts that would change the lives around me. Just making sure everyone in my school district had internet would help hundreds. Converting an abandoned building to a homeless shelter would make a huge impact and could probably be done with a fraction of Powerball jackpot. If you were crazy rich, why wouldn't you want to be Santa? Maybe it's to do with the difference between CEO's salaries in comparison to their average employees. I don't think anyone would mind CEOs making silly money if they took care of their workers and paid taxes in the same way as everyone else. Celebs deserve some hate for hoarding wealth. I especially hate when they preach to us about giving money to a cause. B. You make my annual salary in a day. Given one of the wealthier celebs Kanye, surprisingly, is only at 6B not 100S of billions. They are pretty low on the totem pole. Because the vast majority of Americans aren't employed by celebrities. We work longer hours, more responsibility while receiving little to no raises while the cost of everything rises and companies are making record profits. Celebrities and athletes provide a source of entertainment to distract ourselves from being wage slaves. The one major difference I can think of is that the celebrities you mention all profit based on the value they create. If they don't deliver what their fans and audiences want, they stop making money. If you don't win games or make box office bank, you fade fast. Diamond and Bezos are unquestionably good at their jobs, but are not worth thousands or tens of thousands of their mainline employees, and the gravy train will not end for them when if their performance slumps. The bigger problem is that if you make money from a skill or something you do, acting, professional sports, etc., you actually pay a pretty fkin high tax percentage, versus making money from what you own, shares in a company, real estate, etc., then you pay next to nothing, 
as a percent. And like everyone else is saying, the scale and quantity are orders of magnitude different. Mark Zuckerberg is a billionaire who's made his billions selling people's personal information. Ashton Kutcher is a millionaire who was in movies and TV that I watched. Mark Zuckerberg could buy Ashton Kutcher millions of times over. To the person asking this question, why did this need to be spelled out to you? Being able to own a nice car and a house isn't as bad as being able to buy an entire company and fire every employee, sending jobs to other countries for a fraction of the price, being able to buy tons of drugs, or being able to buy a drug cartel and politicians to make it harder for competitors or good people to get rid of them is a huge difference. Being able to basically hold more hundreds if not thousands of people's lives by changing a yearly plan on a health insurance changes. Taking in more wealth than you already need off the backs of others because it's legally allowed to do so. It's beyond just some dinky celebrity I who just has a lot of money. Nobody cares if people get rich, it matters when they are so super wealthy. Their crappy bratty kids then continue the crappy nasty legacy and nothing can stop them because their money and wealth is so in depth. They get away with murder. Being rich ain't the problem. It's being so wealthy you can basically frick over millions of people at a whim's notice and nothing happened to you is the problem. If they gave away half their wealth, they'd still be sitting comfy and never have to want for anything for the rest of their children's children's lives. They could easily help stop corruption of our system but nah. Let's keep backing politicians to keep them in power while the rest of us keep getting fricked. Most of these CEOs didn't get there by their own merit. They stole ideas, they used others, or they got help from their super rich parents. Most inherited their businesses etc. Celebs on the other hand usually start be by being broke, waiting tables, getting their chance to make it, have to suck some old crappy riches dudes dong like Harvey Weinstein and humiliate themselves just to get a push. Sears basically just asked mom and dad for a 1 million dollar loan. And now frick over all their businesses to make a gain and put others in the trash with no thought behind it. If I could choose between I don't know. Say a senator who is 70 plus years old and finally made around 3 million versus a corporate CEO who funded a stupid rocket launch to put other old fricks in space for 5 minutes instead of spending that money doing something worth a dang. You know like giving a raise to all the people who works under him and helps them feed their families and keeps my businesses afloat. I wonder why people give CEOs a harsh time. Maybe it's because they're super villain like behavior. Will Ferrell is rich because he makes people laugh. The Padu family is rich because they got an entire country hooked on oxy. Lebron James is rich because he plays basketball exceptionally well. Jeff Bezos is rich because his employees have to pee in water bottles at their workstations. Dave Grohl is rich because he creates music that tons of people love. The CEO of health insurance companies are rich because they deny people life saving procedures. Stephen King is rich because he is a relentless writer. Mark Zuckerberg is rich because he runs a platform that prioritizes revenue over ethics. The four pop culture celebrities listed are also orders of magnitude below the others in terms of wealth, as well. People don't hate them for being rich. People hate them because they aren't giving their employees a decent living when they're more than capable of doing so. The sad part is they lost themselves along the way of their success and chose their profits over the people that helped them get there. Celebrities are basically freelancers and really are rich on their talent. They typically don't have companies though some do and I can't say much about that. But in case the Jeff Bezos he has the power and wealth to change countless lives but instead he's taking joy rides in space. Then there's the facts of seers often avoided their fair share of taxes which really could better this country. The only seer that I know of that is actually trying to make their employees lives better is the seer of Costco. I don't think you conceive of the difference in wealth we're talking about here. Ashton Kutcher is on the higher end of celeb wealth with a net worth of $200 million. At a dollar a minute, you could make that much in 380 years. Basically about as long as there have been white people in North America. To make $200 billion which is what Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos are worth, you'd have to make a dollar a minute for 390,000 years. But that's literally longer than humans have existed in our current form. CEOs become billionaires from the sweat of those under them. Then they turn a blind eye when those same people can't afford to take care of themselves or their family. Actors become rich based on talent. No one else does their work. They do it themselves. Are they overpaid? 
Probably, but they aren't exploiting anyone to get that money. Literally no one hates CEOs just for being rich. A lot of athletes that I follow donate a crap ton of money to charity and invest in smaller businesses so I don't mind them having a lot of money. A it's not so cut and dry. Some celebrities do great charitable work, for the right reasons, not a tax break, and some even give up a portion of their salaries to go to other actors. There's definitely are celebrities who barely put in the work but make millions and treat other people like crap. There's CEOs who barely do anything and treat employees like crap. There's down to earth celebrities who are just awesome people and appreciate their fans. There's CEOs who appreciate their employees and listen to them example Zappos former CEO. It's conditional. Just like any human. I think part of it is that celebrities for the most part don't have companies where their workers are underpaid and abused. They just make that money from the box offices. While CEOs take advantage of the working class to amass their fortunes. Because most celebrities get their money from their craft, their own labor, or at worst scrupulous advertising deals, CS make amass their extreme wealth by exploiting the labor of others. It's the disparity between their income and their employees. Celebrities generally aren't making their money by virtue of their employees' work. Yes, there are a lot of people involved in making a movie, football team, etc. But the celebrities aren't employing them. But CEO pay has risen exponentially more than their employees have. That's the heart of it. Your question is too vague. Not all people hate all CEOs nor do they like all celebrities. And if you can't tell why a low wage grunt working at Amazon would hate Jeff Bezos and like Ashton Kutcher you're crazy. Also you should probably look deeper into Ashton Kutcher before saying he doesn't contribute CZ that's gonna get some backlash me thinks. Billionaires get rich by exploiting workers, relying on social services to make up the difference. Celebrities get rich by being popular. Celebrities don't make their millions exploiting droves of workers. CEOs do. Not saying celebrities are saints, but most of the damage they inflict to get where they are is on themselves. CEO. S are making their money by working you to the bone at minimum wage. Celebrities make their money doing something we are willing to pay for. If we were not willing they would not be rich. I think a lot people forget a lot of the net worth comes from the stock market earnings. Individuals buying a piece of their company make the company more profitable and puts an incredible amount of money in their pockets in very little time. I'm not defending it but that's where a lot of their wealth is coming from. Jeff Bezos one of the richest people in the world actually has a salary of 1.6 million but has ownership in his companies which increases his net worth. Do I still think they make way too much? Yes. In some ways but if an entertainer or athlete invests their money into certain businesses they would acquire much more wealth. Making it seem unfair. Celebrities usually make their money on their talent alone. Billionaires usually make their money stepping on anyone they can and profit off of other people's hard work. There's also a massive difference between having money just for being famous, for being an overrated artist, for having a bit of a brass and dickish personality etc to gaining wealth by exploiting resources, making shady deals, theft, tax evasion, spying and other nefarious deeds that would make a comic book villain shake their head in disgust. It's not just about them having money, it's how they get it and how they use it. The biggest reason is that athletes and celebrities actually pay taxes. I think if billionaires paid taxes like the rest of us PPL wouldn't talk so much crap. Or if they paid their employees a decent wage. Because CEOs have enough money to make massive change. The big ones could personally fund a health service for a small country for several years without any income. But they don't. Instead they hoard it. One works for their money and gets a tiny fraction of what they make. The other takes money that others created and makes a huge share of what is generated. My reasons. 1 celebs, movie music sports, are way overpaid, but most of them weren't born rich. None of the seers that came to my mind were born in a poor settings. 2 majority of celebs aren't exploiting a big group of employees to get richer. Seers do. 
and often actively maintain their employees in precariousness. But that's just a priori. I start from this assumption and then their actions is going to comfort me or in the fact that too much money can bring out the worst in people. I think people prefer celebs cause more of them show humanity. In sport we often hear of one star using his money to help the community he came from. Actors defending a good cause. Singers advocating for a minority. When a seer is giving money to a charity it's never an amount that impact his way of life. And it always seems to be taxes related more than out of kindness. Celebrities are wealthy because they are popular. They have no influence on the world aside from their platform. So people who hate them are generally just jealous or they find them annoying. But their existence isn't affecting most people. Billionaire CEOs control the means of production, employ hundreds of thousands, and are capable of influencing the government. If people dislike this group, it's not because they are rich it's because of their unprecedented ability to affect the world due to their unimaginable resources. With this in mind it's easy to see why there's so much more hatred directed at Jeff Bezos than Zac Efron. One is an annoyance at worst, one has control over the livelihood of hundreds of thousands of people. This question is like asking why the French hated Marie Antoinette, but not Joseph Haydn. I just picked some random person who was famous for making art from the time period. IDK any French celebrities from the 1700s but you get the point, even though they're both rich people. Think more about the ethics behind the actions those CEOs take to acquire their substantially larger wealth as opposed to celebrities. Celebrities perform art or play sports. CEOs screw thousands or millions of people over. Corporations like Facebook and Amazon are directly responsible for how much pollution their companies produce, since they could adopt cleaner technologies, are in charge of how their employees are treated contractual on every level, and also they get so much more money than any Hollywood celebrity. Also, I don't know where you see the celebrity worship anyway. Things are very different from the late 90s and early 2000s when actors and singers were treated as gods and perceived as such too. In a way, social media and better social consciousness of the entertainment industry brutally ripped that veil of divinity from them. Now it's time for tech billionaires to get kicked down a peg or two. An actor or actress performs a service, a director performs a service, a musician, a producer, a cinematographer, all perform services to create a good. Their work merits that they reap the fruits of their labor, as they perform like a symphony to achieve a final product. CEOs of large corporations, leech the fruits of the labor of others through delegation by skimming the true value of one's labor off, and treating it like a surplus that they get to keep in pocket for themselves. The CEO doesn't plan the locations of their shops, warehouses, etc. Someone has been delegated to do that for them, and the CEO wasn't even the one who did the delegating. Someone was further delegated to do that for them. The CEO doesn't directly hire the workers to conduct the menial tasks required to keep the machine operating. There is someone delegated for that. The workers under a CEO. And the CEO's direct benefactors are the symphony and the maestro. And the CEO sits out in the audience, or on his her throne, and occasionally comments loudly about its entertainment value, while the audience, or customer, tries to shush them. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.